I can very clearly remember that 29 years ago, uh, we moved to Newburgh because of my daughter. She just turned 29 this month, and we have seen the transformation of this block. It was a very difficult block to come down. A burned out shell of what used to be a community would best describe it. I don't know that you can, you have to look at a picture to see how truly bad it was. Oh, this street was a disaster. Um, there were boarded up buildings, um, condemned buildings, buildings for sale, nothing was happening. For decades, uh, this East Palmetto Street area, this whole neighborhood was, it was in, it was in decay. It, it's from back in the 70s when it was, when it was old and it was, and it was getting old and it wasn't being repaired. And then in the late 80s, in the mid 80s, the late 80s, when it was in total disrepair and it looked hopeless. No, nobody really knew where to start before this project began. I've been with it for 13 years and it's just an amazing transformation. People used to, you know, come through this abandoned, you know, dark area just to cut across Broadway. But now when they cut across, they, it seems like they stop in this oasis. When you fix up homes and things like that, you're creating, you're re creating an entire neighborhood. We have, it's, this is the newest neighborhood in the city of Newburgh here at East Permanent Street, and it's important. Everybody that came to Habitat wanted to know if they were going to be part of this neighborhood, every new family. Felt like, you know, it was something new, something vibrant. I think the thought of moving into a neighborhood uh, is, is wonderful for our new families. It's an old-fashioned neighborhood in that sense. You can watch each other's children, you can keep an eye on somebody's pets or somebody's cars. Oh, se, se siente bien porque está uno más seguro aquí. Se ve la diferencia luego, ¿no? También. Your family's working with us. In fact, just the other day I stopped by to say hi to Samuel and Angel. Uh, they were out on the porch having some coffee. They understand the effort, the sweat that went into it, and um, you know, they appreciate you know, their home just a little bit more. All the neighbors go to each other's housewarmings, each other's dedication. They watch out for one another. You also you know, understand that your neighbors as well went through the same process. A little bit keeping up with the Joneses, so to speak, you know, like, hey, he's got a wreath. And my wife says, I got to get a wreath too. <laughs> They're with people that they trust, that they can rely on, that they know will help them if they need it. We've done a lot to help the city and its inhabitants uh, move forward and maybe be able to recapture some of the same uh, security and safety and joy that I had when I was growing up. Habitat is so much more than houses. It's people, the people in the houses that now become homes. And what, what more can you do for somebody but to give them hope? Estamos contentos pues porque nos vamos a mudar a una nueva casa. Sí, ya estamos ansiosos. Ya estamos ansiosos, más esperando. Israel is the one that I remember the best. The day that he came upstairs for the interview, he was so filled with joy and his smile just lit up the room. I, it just, it fills me up. It really does. I love it. It's, it's one of the biggest dreams that ever happened to me. I'm just glad that I listened, you know, to the my inner voice to move forward with Habitat for Humanity and finding out that I was accepted. It just, you know, made me more driven to um, being more encouraged to more of my dreams. There's the sky's the limit. There's nothing too hard if you believe. I don't think by myself I would have been able to accomplish the things that I've been able to provide for her you know, by myself. We have our own little backyard for me to play there, and my driveway, my room, and and my friends. And I'm glad that we have a little, um, <laughs> that we have a walkway right here because I can drive. When I came here that very day, uh, it was very, very odd. Uh, the largest moon that I've ever seen was rising over Mount Beacon. And I knew that there was some hopefulness there, that. If, there, if the moon could still rise and the sun could still shine, there was a lot of hope in Newburgh. Over 15 years, we've demonstrated that we're in this for the long haul. We're not just a fly by night and we're gonna be here today and gone. We're still here in the community. This is our community, it's our home too.
celebration of neighbors and friends connecting again, creating the new. Neighbors and friends, I'm glad to come in and be here with you. No, I say keep right on going. You're, I'm, I'm your biggest supporter.